you are in the kitchen. You are told that you are supposed to create a healthy snack for your little brother, or for your parents, or for yourself. What therefore do we go to? The apple. This is a readily washed apple that I just got done washing. Now, would you say that the best way to prepare such a, such a delectable dish is to cut it into slices and serve it at a far in a five-star fashion, very sophisticated and fancy. Would you say that is the correct measures we should take? I say so too. But a challenge faces us. What are we therefore supposed to use to cut such a delectable, scrumptious Honeycrisp apple? Well, there are a variety of tools you could use. If you are a martial artist, you could do something along the lines of, well, smashing it with your hand. Okay, um, the next thing we're, poss we're probably going to try to do, the next thing you might try to do is, well, well, you have a pocket knife in your pocket, right? That's a bit vulgar, don't you think? Using pocket knives to cut, cut knives. Yeah, using pocket knives to cut knives. Using pocket knives to cut apples. Next. The kitchen knife. The serrated kitchen knife. As you see, this has the serrations necessary, of course, necessary, of course, in order to cut through this, to saw through this surface, the epidermis and the insides very quickly and with great ease. However, once again, this is how normies cut, the, cut their apples. Shall we take this, son of a bitch? Well, it's massive, quite massive, and, um, Could do some damage. I mean, uh, I will admit I, I tested it. Al I tested it already with uh, very little strength, and it was able to cut already halfway through it. But once again, who uses these for cutting knives? Well, I'll show you what a real man uses to cut his apples. A secret weapon. That was supposed to be a lot cooler than it looked, turned out to be. 